Ryan White. But before I get started, you notice I used a wash for this painting. It's red and yellow acrylic. And also, I didn't use a pencil to sketch out this painting. I'd like to say it's because my art skill is leveling up, and that may be the case. But I was sharpening my pencil, and the dollar store sharpener broke, and it broke my pencil too. So painting out the lining it is. Ryan White, also known as Grizzly Ryan, is my friend. He is an artist, and musician, and all around great guy. He is breaking new ground right now by producing his own cheese. It sounds simple enough, but it's also so wild. Like, who makes their own cheese? But who wouldn't love to have their own cheese? It's awesome. Ryan was featured in my episodic show GP Does, or GP Does PG, though Ryan was filmed in the Hazeltons. In that installment, Ryan painted me. So it only seems fitting that I paint him a fellow artist. Smoke him if you got him. If you notice in Ryan's mouth is a cannabis cigarette. And even that is awesome. He grew that plant himself. Mostly to save money, I bet. Or just to have more weed. But it just makes him that a little bit more interesting. Ryan paints in watercolors. He once commented on he thought it was cool that I was painting with oils and how brave I was for trying them. I originally painted with acrylics, most specifically the craft paints from the dollar store. I painted hundreds of canvases with these paints, and for a short time I painted with Windsor and Newton acrylics. It was a real step up, but I knew that oils was where it was at. For some reason, deep in my soul, I knew there was something amiss. So I sold a commission, and I used the cash to buy five tubes of oil paint. Red and white, and reluctantly blue, and of course yellow, and then black. I'm still using these tubes. They seem to be about half done. More the yellow and white ones. Those colors get used the most, as I was initially painting orange cats. I can safely say I painted almost 100 canvases in 8x10. By now, 40 portraits, 50 cat faces I used to paint in my art style, but I also painted several dozen larger pieces, including my 3 foot wide by 4 foot tall cat masterpiece. If I had to paint all these in acrylic, I would have gone through several more tubes of each color, as the paints dry so fast. These oils stay fresh on my glass palette, uncovered, for a week, probably longer. But since I paint so frequently, I go through the color on my palette before it dries. I do clean the mixed colors over time when I'm done painting, as I find the paint thinner I use makes the color dry faster. I actually saved money on paint switching to oils. And when I start moving some art with sales, Etsy shop coming soon, I will be buying some gambling colors. Same with the five colors, but it's going to cost me 50 bucks a tube, that's why. Maybe less. As to say, I love oil painting, and it gets me the results I was dreaming of the entire time I was painting with acrylics. But it should go without saying that art is subjective but also creating art. There may be no right or wrong way. The fact that you are creating feels like it is the most important part. Does it matter what you are creating? At the end of the day, no. While creating, in a small way, you are working on yourself. The time you set aside to put on that canvas or piece of paper or TikTok or Mario Maker 2 or even doing your chores it can be meditative, and the thoughts you have could be beneficial in the short term, having that time for yourself. I hate to mention this, but in the description, if it's before June 3rd, 2021, there is an eBay auction starting at a Canadian dollar, probably about 13 cents American, for installment 49 of GP Paints U series. So I hope Whoever watches this picks up some art supplies, even if it is just craft paint from the dollar store. And get at it. I'm GP Does, and I'm painting you.